This is a game you're not familiar with. It's a it's called a grand strategy game, and this one is called Crusader Kings Three. And in grand strategy games, you have so many decisions to take as to how you manage your empire. Okay. Wait, kings and empires aren't really the same, are they? Uh, king, well, emperors rule empires, kings rule kingdoms, but you'll see in this game, when it loads, how I've got on so far. So this is a little brief introduction to you to Crusader Kings 3. See a kingdom? <laughs> you see a kingdom. Now, this is my kingdom, Alba. So if we zoom out, you can see that I now control Iceland. I control the whole of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and, and, I, and Northern Ireland, along with Ireland. Do you control the boot? I control a good half of what we now know today as France, and I'm getting there with the boot. I don't get why it's called the boot, because I used to know. Because it's shaped like a boot, look. Oh, yeah, now and That's I the see toes, it. that's the heel, and that's the leg. Yeah, now I see it now. And it's like a boot kicking an island. Yeah, now I see it now. Now, this is. Gigantic lobster! This is the line of kings and queens that have come before me. That's what I'm doing now. Empress, so that's you. Empress Mwadney. Yeah, this is me. But this is... When I started the game, I was High King Murkad. And you can see he died at 65. I've been on the throne for 26 years. His son, Brian II, took over. Then we had High King Male Sectionale II. High King Stephen... And you can see that, see from the years how they've been progressing for you know, 1066 to 1092, 1092 to 1112, 1112 to 1138. 30 years. Well, the shortest reign so far was High King Brian II was on the throne for 19 years. Then we got Empress Ben Munman up was on for 42 years, and she was the longest reigning for a while. Shortest one in total is Arch Abbot Ben Munman, who only was on the throne for eight years. She, sorry. 55? That, that's the one who's been there. Well, he was on the throne for 55 because he he, um, he became emperor at the age of 16 when Emperor Enna died. When Emperor Enna died, he just turned 16, so he was able to become emperor. So that's why he's, and he died at 70. So that's why he was on the throne for 55 what years. What do all these emojis mean? Well, he died of consumption, which was an illness. He was a cultural head of, of the Irish culture. He had a that's his level of fame. That was how much devotion to his church he had. His main lifestyle was intrigue, which was about kidnapping people. Um, and he fought in fifteen wars. Whereas she died of old age. So if you die of if something's if you get a green skull, it's usually a died of a an illness. A grey skull is dying of old age. That was the church. Old age disease thing in the complications old related age. to obesity I don't know and if you don't have a score yet oh no it's complicated no, I, I, did I, you change every time you die so like when you died with that first one you became the other yeah because this is emperor Mwad name number four and this is this is us now and you can see oops if I click on her you can see that um, her son is my heir, so when she dies, all her titles will go to her son, who's currently the head of the church. So that his throne, his, he, well, if he dies, his, his heir at the moment is his three-year-old son, which would be a bit awkward if he died before he became 16, because then he'd have to have a guardian before he could become emperor. But if you look at this particular chap, He's only 24 himself, and he's got a three-year-old, two-year-old, a one-year-old, and a one-year-old. Because that, that's the ace there, next to the heart. Mm. All right. So, pretty much, who's the oldest out of these children? He is. The start, it always goes oldest to youngest that way. So, he's oldest and he's three. And I've got it set so that the oldest child inherits all the titles when somebody dies. Okay. Siblings. Mm-hmm. So, Parent. at the moment we're at peace and we've got some decisions to make. You see, I can my my daughter, who is twenty two, she can marry. So I click on her to find out what her best skills are. So she's best at learning, then with Marshall. But as she was to get bonuses from her 
spouse then she needs a spouse that's strong in some of these other fields so for example if i wanted to boost her marshal which is her ability to fight wars and she's gonna marry, and she's gonna marry a shadow no i mean he's 58 i don't want her to marry a 58 so i only wanted to marry somebody of a similar age so i say that the oldest people that can marry her are 25 three years older and so you see he's got a nice strong martial skill um he's a different house but she can marry him but if i make it matrilineal Viking. it'll mean any children are born into our house Viking. house failing oh, no, i don't want failing do i Viking. Uh, no hang on a minute is he a Viking? He looks like a Viking. No, he's not a Viking. He's Irish. I want somebody in my house then, so that her children become in my dynasty. Is there anybody in our... No. Anybody in my dynasty? No. Titles. Shield, shield, so shield, shield. So she's my daughter, shield. but she's from the house failing. Title. Shield, 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 shield. Claims. Shield, 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 shield. That's not right. Doesn't sound like a word anymore, shield. Shield. Right, so you see, that's how that game is.